In this drawing, we're going to create description key sets and define marker styles and label styles for a few raw descriptions. What description key sets do is they look at a raw description for a point and apply set styles and parameters to those points based on what the description is. So in order to get description key sets, what we have to do is navigate over to the tool space window and go to the settings tab. We're going to expand points and expand description key sets and you'll see that we have a current description key set of essentials in here. If you wanted to create a new description key set, you could right click on that and select new. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna edit the existing one that's in this drawing and by selecting edit keys after right clicking on it. In this panorama window, you'll see your full description key set and each of the description keys associated with it. We currently have ones that say STA, SWMH, and TR all with an asterisk behind it. The asterisk basically tells Civil 3D to ignore anything that comes after the raw description of whatever comes before it. In our case, say, for example, tree, oftentimes you'll have a point that says TR, and then it'll have a space, and then it'll say 12 pine. And so that's telling us that it's a 12 inch pine tree. But what the description key set does is it says, take TR and apply all these parameters and ignore the 12 and the pine for how you're gonna display this. Moving on from there, you can force a style, you can force a point label style, so a marker style and a point label style, a format, which is a full description of that point, the layer that you're gonna put that point on, and then you can have scale parameters. So like in our 12 tree, 12 is a scale parameter and 12 would be the first parameter and you can scale your points based on that parameter or you can choose not to do that and it'll be whatever your marker style says that it's gonna be for size. You can also apply a rotation based on a second parameter and force those rotations, or you can rotate them manually later. Uh, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is if I right click on this and I choose new, I can create a new description key set and I'm gonna create it for the points that are in our drawing, which is calc with all caps. And I'm gonna apply a asterisk to the end of it so I can ignore anything that comes after calc. I'm gonna force a style, a marker style of standard I'm going to force a point label style of description only. I'm going to force a format of survey search point because we're searching for points on a parcel. I'm going to force a layer of V node. And then I'm going to leave all of my scale parameters and rotation parameters as they currently exist. As you can see, it could take a long time to create a description key set for many points that are inside of a drawing. So if you have a description key in a drawing that you want to port over to this drawing, you can do so by going over to the tool space window and going to this drop down for active drawing settings view. If you drop this down and you choose master view, it will show you all of the drawings that you currently have open inside of Simple 3 d So at the top, you can see the file that I'm working in and lower in here, you can see a file that I have called blank base with description key sets. This description key set, as you can see, is quite larger than the description key set that we have in the current working file. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna close this down. I'm gonna find my description key set for my blank base with description key sets. I'm gonna find essentials. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna select it and I'm going to drag it down to the current working file. I'm gonna expand that current working file. I'm gonna to go to points. I'm gonna expand points. Then I'm gonna to go to description key sets and I'm gonna drop it inside of this description key set folder. And what you'll see is I get a warning that I have a duplicate item name uh, because I want to overwrite this essentials in my current working drawing, I'm going to go ahead and choose overwrite and I'm going to select OK. And then if I go into my working file and I change from master view to active drawing settings view and I go to my points, description key sets, essentials, and right click and edit keys, you'll see all of those description keys that were in my base drawing have been ported over into my current active drawing. So I'm gonna go ahead and select okay for this. And 
the next thing that you have to understand is that because you have created a description key set does not mean that the points that are already in the drawing are going to display with that description key set. Uh, any point that's already created will stay as it is unless you force the description key set over the existing points. New points will accept the description key set, but old points will stay as they are unless you force them. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna select points, we're gonna right click, and we're gonna choose select to select all the points in the drawing. We're gonna right click, and inside of this, you'll see apply description key sets. If you select apply description key sets, it will apply the key sets to all the points that are currently selected. So I'm gonna choose apply description key sets. And what you'll see happen here is our benchmark point marker style changed to a standard and our description label style changed so that it's labeling our full description, not our raw description.